How's it going everyone? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome back to the credit grind. Um, I have my old man jumper on today. Um, it's cozy, okay? Leave me alone. Anyway, we have made some changes to the crew. Um, first, they are all astronauts, apart from the tomato, because uh, obviously the tomato being the commander. But we've made uh, some slight changes, so we've now got all brothers in arms ready for, hopefully in this session, we should be able to get the first skill. And then we'll go into repairs again, um, and also, obviously, uh, situational awareness on the radio operator. So hopefully, with some boosters, we can get this done today, and maybe even get the first mark, depending on how the games go. Um, also, depending on if the marks have been kind of updated or not, or whatever. Um, so yeah, we'll see. It's pretty close. So uh, yeah, let's get into some games. Okie dokie, we are on a highway, and it is against tier 7s. So not bad matchmaking for us. Um, we have got some uh, heavy tanks. There's quite a few on each team. So uh, that's nice. I am the only tier 8 heavy. Because that's nicely balanced. Well done Wargaming. Yeah. Oh, what's that? You want a heavy tank? No, 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 no. They can have a heavy tank. But you can't have a heavy tank. Here, have another medium. Actually, do you know, what did they even get? So they got a medium tank instead. But did they gain... They gained a tier 6, 7 heavy. Working well. Well done. Oh, Wargaming outdoing themselves as always. Well done. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you once we get there because this is going to probably take a while. Oh, hello. Easy bounce. Need to be a little bit careful now from the right because the people's camping up there. But that's fine. We're good. Uh, Pajetto's not really too much of a threat to me. I mean, he's firing APCR, so actually, yeah, he is. He's probably trying to mark it. Will we go around this corner again? I'm going to go wide so that I can actually get a shot off. He does peek. I don't think he will. Oh, no, I don't think he will. Uh, but there's probably going to be someone that is going to be here in a second, so we're just going to wait. Maybe... I don't know, 30 seconds, see if someone peeks this. Usually someone wants to peek this and go through to try and get some shots off on people. There's a Tiger 1. Okay, let's push forwards a little bit. Track him. No, not quite. That's fine though, we can go forwards. Try and bait out a shot from this guy. Not going to happen. Uh, let's just fire once. That hit? Did we do damage? I have no idea. I guess we'll find out later. Let's see. Do you reckon this guy's going to peek again? I mean, he kind of has to if he wants to run away. But he's going to take more than just a shot from me in doing so. The game's actually going pretty fast. Um, so we might need to kind of push the tempo on this game because this is going to be very very fast to die that's just unlucky I reckon the tiger's in a peak now now that he knows that I just fired does he have a repair kit he doesn't have a repair kit what's his repair crew like though it is good enough just about Very nice. You are now dead because... Oh no, actually, wait, I need to face like this. I bounce this guy once more. Give me a second. Nope, he's going for like a polar. Nope, gun. Easy. Uh, we kill this guy first. Get him out of the way. And now we turn our, our hole towards this guy. And what we're going to do is just go like this so that we are even more covered. Go for his engine. Not quite. See if we can bounce. We bounced one. One more in. And we're not really going to be able to survive this, unfortunately. Uh, and the ammo access. That's actually just unfortunate. Okay, well, 2.8k. That is fine. 
Uh, yeah, not really too much that we could have done to survive, but it's going to be a win. So, not really too fussed about that. That's good. So, we earned 120k credits and we got 3.2k damage done. Um, well, nearly 3.2k. Uh, yeah, that was nice. We nearly hit every single shell. Nearly. Uh, is this guy trying to free market? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, we nearly come top on damage, and obviously that hit on the tiger did count, so that is nice. Uh, yeah, only a few more games, and hopefully we should have the first mark, and our crew is going to be trained up. Okay, so we're on Mannerheim line. Not too bad. Um, it is against tier 9s. Now, I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. I think I'm going to play close to this uh, kind of edge. And not go too far, because I want to be able to fall back if things go uh, south all of a sudden. So, yeah, it should be fine, but let's just see. LT432 pushing through very aggressively, actually. He's not going to spot us, though, so it's fine. Okay. One into the lava. We need to back off now because this guy's going to be an issue. Put one more into the lava, maybe? No, not quite. Uh, we are spotting a lot, though. So this is actually good for us. Okay, let's try and back off a little bit, maybe. I don't know. The thing is, I don't know how this is going to go yet. Because we do still have a lot of people here. So it's not going to be the end of the world, but... No, we should be okay. Right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and cross here. And see if we can get some shots off on people down here. Mm. Nothing I can really do to a conqueror, unfortunately. Not when he's angled like that. Mm-hmm. Didn't go where we aimed it. What are we to do? I'm just going to take the hit. Okay, nice. He didn't even hit me. He <laughs> Oh, what an idiot. That was not the play. Like, I get it. Phase one, yeah? You want to do some damage, but that just wasn't how you do it. We should be able to get a, a Capola shot, maybe, on this guy. Nice. Might be able to do it again. I might just accept the, the shot. He'll die before I can do anything else. So, uh... Yeah. Now we just push up a little bit. And see if we can get a shot on the guard. There is also the STRV uh, S1, obviously. Which is going to be causing me a few issues. He is right, like, there. So we'll just wait. Because I think the guard... No, no, the STRV might have swatted me. I don't know. We'll just wait a second. Let the T92 go on spot. I don't actually know where he is. There's so many people there. I... that might have gone in, actually. I didn't see a splash, and I would have seen a splash at that range. I'm going to try and go hold down now, and try and also get some spot in at the same time. This is actually quite a powerful position here, because as long as your turret's okay, which mine isn't really okay, let's be honest. 
Um, but we should be able to get some damage done. And some spotting, which we are. Gun behaving itself. Imagine that. Like, when's the last time this gun behaved itself? But that is pretty much the game. I don't think we're going to get much more out of this, if anything. This guy's probably going to go down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, maybe we can get a shot on the Skoda, but I think he's going to die before we even get there. But still, marks go up. And, uh, yeah. Average damage goes up. Crew skills go up. Very nice. Mr. Skoda. <laughs> uh, unlucky. We had to fire because we ne we didn't know when he was going to die. And yes, that shell did go in uh, to the SDRV blind, which is quite nice. Okay, so another 2.8k. Another nice game for the old AMX. And now what we can do is go and grab repairs and start training up that again. Now that we have got Brothers in Arms for that. Um, obviously, we don't have it on this one yet, but it's pretty close. Like, we're nearly there. Um, and obviously, I, I use a crew book that I got from this here, number 27, um, and used it on this. So, yeah, that's how we have two skills now, nearly. Um, okay. Oh, do I have enough now? Yeah, go on then. I'm not going to use it on anything else. Uh, we'll put it on firepower. And then also I can accelerate the crew training. And that should be pretty nice. Because that is now going to accelerate this guy. So hopefully it's only one game. Maybe two. Maybe I think we'll play four games on the credit grind. Just to um, kind of get as much out of the booster as possible. So yeah. Let's go into our third game. Ah, wait. First of all, we're going to change this. Because I want the tank to be more... Uh, I, need, I need more stabilization on the gun. It's it's actually awful. So, yeah. We'll do that rather than the increased DPM. I know it's a little bit... You know, it probably should be DPM-wise. But it's not going to make that much of a difference. And I'd rather have it on stabilization. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, third game. Okay, so this is a tier 9 game. So what I'm going to do is not go this side... I'm actually going to go this side because it's probably going to work out a little bit better. There's no RT, so you can actually go this side and not really get too worried about that. Um, but we are going to play it a little bit passively. So we're going to ask for help and we're going to play it around this rock around here. Um, actually, are we? Hmm. No, okay, actually, no, we won't. I'm just thinking about it because if I go to this rock here and we get overrun, I can't run away. Whereas if I go here... I'll be able to go and peek around like this, hopefully spot the cross early as well. And also, we will be a little bit more hidden from people over here. Not too much, but it will be enough. Okay, we got here. We're not going to cross. We're just going to wait a second. See if we get spotted. We do, so we can shoot once into there because that's where they're going to be. Uh, we don't know what's there yet, so... Nothing at that side. They've probably moved back around. Oh, hello. I think we tracked him. He's not perma-tracked, but it's enough. And we'll fire. Oh, Bazante's there again. I didn't see any ricochet, so... And you will see a ricochet even when blind. Unless it's just a tracking shot, then obviously you won't see a ricochet, but... We're just going to keep pumping them in. We've got more than enough... Um, yeah, this guy's on low health. We were perma-tracking him, I think. Oh, really? I think he'll run away now, though. Zante's dead. And the E75 has gone up the top. Okay. Not a bad start. Um, hopefully we got maybe two blinds in that. That's a bit unlucky. Hopefully maybe got two, three blinds. If we are getting lucky, that is.
Really? Oh. I thought that was a Scorpion G. Okay, we ignore that. One into the Ferdinand. The only problem with this tank is the Capola. I don't know. It's about 50-50 at very frontal armor of the third and android. We'll just keep pumping the shells in. I don't, this will be interesting to see how much blind we actually get. That didn't uh, pen. We'll be able to shoot the mail broker in a second. Pushing? No, he's not. We can't sit here for too long. Like, we can't sit out in the open for too long because he will just hit my Capola. Should have gone for the lower play, actually. That was a bad play. <sighs> Maybe I aimed it bad. I don't know. That wasn't aimed bad. I mean, it's a good thing this tank gets a lot of ammo. There we go. Finally, it's hitting some shells. Nice. That was just a bad shot. I'm not gonna lie, that was just awful. <laughs> Why has this guy gone sideways? He's trying to... What an... What a legend, man. He tried to shield his entire team. I mean, I don't... <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Not that the Tiger 2 knew that. Oh... I don't actually know if there's anyone there. Uh, let's just go. WT could still be here. We'll find out though. He tried to shield his team by blocking that off. Okay, we know that there's no... Being serious. So he didn't spot me? I don't know. I hope this WT gets spotted again. Come on. How do you not get spotted? Seriously. Like, if a TD's firing behind there, he should be getting spotted. Like, from this range. I mean, the, the fact that this guy didn't spot him is ridiculous. Don't have intuition. Probably actually a bad call to go for HE, so... We'll fire once at the WT, but... I can't actually tell whether he's using the big gun or the small gun. Either way, I think he has enough pen. Okay, apparently, yeah, he just has enough pen to go straight through me. Rip. I literally clicked as it as I died. Oh, it'll be interesting to it'll be interesting to find out uh, how much damage we actually got out of this. Okay, well, we actually got 2.7k out of this. That's a lot more than I thought it would be. We got the first mark as well, which is good. Um, so how many times did we shoot this? We've done 800 damage to him. We've done... We hit the third of them for a thousand. And only one of them we actually saw. And we also have the radio operator now, so we've got situational awareness back. And we are slowly getting up our view range. So, with all things, once it's done, it should be really good, yeah? I think. 423 we'll get. So that's not too bad. Oh, and by the way, we are not going to use gold. You're not going to use premium consumables because I said that I wouldn't. 
and I'm going to keep to my word for this one and also obviously the Batchat 12T um, and that line of the grind. We're doing it completely free to play. We're doing it without gold. None of that. Okay. Um, but next season, I think we'll do something different. Um, but yeah, nice. Good session so far. Let's play one more game uh, just to kind of finish it off and see how much credits we can actually get. 260,000 credits already though. That's pretty decent. Especially considering we don't have a premium account. Okay, so I have stuck uh, Assault on for this account and probably do it on my main account as well. Um, just to change things up. And uh, I have no idea how to play this map. <laughs> Where do I go? Do I, I, do I just sit here and just farm people, right? I uh, This is going to be a learning experience for all of us. Or well, probably not. For all of us, probably some of you play Assault as well, but I have had Assault switched off for about three years now. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is going to be a little bit of a learning experience. I mean, at least you can see how I play maps that I don't know how to play. I'm pretty sure that they just come here. They come, like, here and here, right? There's one. I'm not fighting a no-ho. No. See you later. I'm gonna go and fight some King Tigers. That seems like a better option. Not gonna lie. Ah, Mr. Lerva. Bonjour. Uh, where did you even pen? Was it lower plane? Doesn't really matter. This guy's going to get absolutely farmed now. But he should die. I'm going to kill this lover. Um, what's the alpha on this again? 300. Hmm. Thank you, R2. Very cool. Right, we're going to move back because this is not really the spot that you want to be in. Try and get around so that we can get a better angle on this lover as well. Okay, he's dead. Can we get a shot on this guy? Yes, we can. Maybe track. No. Keep going backwards because this guy is now farming us. Oh, okay. Well, I'm dead. Uh, RT has killed us, because we're now trapped. Nice. Well, that was fun. I mean, at least we now learned that you need your team to go to the south bit as well, so uh, yeah. Oh well, we won, it doesn't really matter. All right, so I think that's gonna pretty much wrap up the uh, the credit grind. Not a bad, uh, not a bad little session, actually. 100% win rate, 2.5K average. Yeah, till next week, AMX. So if you did enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe, as it does all help me out greatly. And, uh, yeah, comment of the day. First mark, since we got it. Why not? Uh, yeah, you comment that, and uh, the YouTube algorithm gods will hopefully be happy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.